Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are back on the Isle of Siptar, in map square J11, building a stone home. This build uses mods heavily in construction and decoration, with the primary mod being Dude's Delightful Decorations. You can see a full list of mods and their load order in the pinned comment below. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 68% off a 2 year deal plus a month free when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how to browse the internet safely and securely with NordVPN. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly I'm going to start off with of course the base plate. I started off using stable fence foundations to create a simple, multi-leveled base plate. I wanted to create a home with various different levels that looks sturdy and well designed, whilst also being fairly modest on the interior and in overall size. I also created a small outdoor section that I'll attach to a workshop, to allow the build to stay connected to the nearby environment and also have at least some usable facilities rather than just being a purely decorative or roleplay style home. I used frontier ceilings to cap off the fence foundations, though I would later decide to cover over the stable fence foundations with stone tavern walls. Next for the walls, I use stone tavern walls and their related pieces from the Dude's Delightful Decorations mod, which if you haven't tried it is an absolutely great mod. I used various window pieces to introduce natural light into the build, and I built the walls two tiles high on the ground floor and continued up, building a tower on the right side of the build as the main stairway. In retrospect, it's slightly odd to me at least that a simple house like this would have a fairly large tower attached to it as a staircase, so I think a regular staircase in one of the side rooms may have functioned a little better within this build in terms of making sense, but the tower doesn't necessarily ruin this build, it's just a, I guess a habit I've got into, and it'll be easy enough to rectify. Thank you. 
On the first floor, I created two separate rooms on either side of the build, connecting them together with a catwalk that goes above the lounge on the ground floor, which helps to add some extra verticality and depth into the build that helps to keep the home feeling comfortable. Next for the roofs. I use simple roof designs across the build, keeping things fairly straightforward, with roof designs that fit well on the build without coming together to create one massive ugly roof. Using the verticality of the build and the different levels of the floors, it helps a lot to break up the build and make the roofs look much better when they're finished. Finally, I built some stairs inside the tower and capped the tower off with fences and awnings to finish off the build.
Finally, when the shut of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the home with lanterns inside and outside the build to keep it well lit without using any open flame light sources. Entering the build on the ground floor, we reach the lounge. The lounge is the main room, and has access to pretty much the entirety of the build, including the library, kitchen, and the workshop out in the back which you will see shortly. Climbing the tower and reaching the first floor, we first reach the bedroom, which connects across the catwalk to the secondary lounge. These areas are designed to be quite comfortable, and feel very warm and inviting. Back on the ground floor, the workshop is a small yet functional shed that provides a nice place to tinker around with different tools and resources.
Finally, the tower sits high above the home, providing great views across the nearby valleys and plains. And there we have it, a stone home on the Isle of Siptar in map square J11. Thanks for watching, the last two builds on the channel were pretty large ones, so going back to a smaller build and focusing more on decoration and overall structure is a nice change. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code eradyt at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pin comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Sergeant Swede and Shannara. If you're new here feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.